everybody. Hey everybody. Can you Can hear, you hear me, me okay? okay? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Prime. Prime. Uh, can, uh, can you, you just, just in, the in the chat, chat say that, that you can, can hear me, me if you can? can? Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Okay. How's that? Can you hear me now? Is that better? Hi, Ann. Hey, Devin. So can you guys hear me now? Is there still an echo? Awesome. All right, so we're going to play some Ark Survival Evolved today. Um, this is the 10 <laughs> subscriber special. So uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. <laughs> um, normally, I would take Ears with me, who is my Jerboa. But we're going someplace dangerous today. So I'm going to take uh, Mini here. Let's take this out. Because Mini knows how to fight. Um, so here's our base, and I see somebody. Is that the Butterman? Indeed it is. <laughs> so this is... Butterman, and uh, we did this stuff together, so we're going to be going on a little adventure to try to find an artifact. Yeah, and we'll get better at this as we go along. Um, my experience in this is doing webinars for uh, big audiences and absolutely nothing on YouTube, so we'll see how this goes, but I just... Uh, we thought this would be fun, and um, thank you guys for showing up. So now we just need to finish prep. So I'm going to get my water. We are in Scorched Earth, which is a place where it gets up to like... Um, oh man, who knows? I think I've seen it at 180 degrees. So water is a thing. So I'm going to grab some canteens. And we need to just finish our prep for going out here. Butterman, do you have everything you need? Uh, yeah, just drop my water. Okay, cool. So I need to put an egg away. How's everybody doing today? I think Butterman has a fan. Uh, dump that in there. Go grab my grappling hooks. Should we bring the saber teeth? Uh, sure. Um, I actually 
we haven't used in the only yet, so. Oh, he has tons of uh, levels. So this is the base. We wanted to stick with Adobe. And so today we won't be using these guys or anything, the wyverns. Um, we're probably going to go over with... Well, maybe we'll fly over with the wyvern. But we're going to go over with um, our thylas, these guys, because they're really good in caves. And we're going to take these guys because they're also good in caves, but they're smaller. And neither of us know anything about the place we're going. And um, so we have no idea what's going to go on. We may get lost. We may not find an artifact. And we may not even get um, any creatures to spawn in the cave. We might be close to the mob cap. Let's see. Won't be needing that. We've got those. That's enough ammo. We have our sword. Just need to grab food, I think. Make sure you... Yeah, I always carry a bunch, so make sure you have enough for you dudes. Uh, those of you who have played Ark uh, would notice a lot of different colored beasts. They were from an Easter uh, event, so they come in different colors. We're going to grab these eggs so that they don't hatch. And we will let these guys hold them. Okay. So I'll go back upstairs, grab some food. Uh, yes, yeah, some of these are from the Valentine's Day event as well. The white and pink wyverns. That was from the Dark Hunt Do you have grappling hooks? Uh, no. Do I need them? I don't know, it's a cave. <laughs> yeah, Butterman's outfit is pretty magnificent. Mine is. A little bit less so. <laughs> we'll take some family photos later on. Glad to hear everybody's doing well. These are some of our Traboa. This is where we make most of the stuff. That's greenhouse. Then our dudes are pretty much out here. The ones that we don't have in cryopods, which is basically like um, freezing them in a little pokeball. Okay. One last check. Ammo, ammo. Grappling hooks. Do you want to run over there or fly? How far is it? It is... It's not... Not all that far. It's over by where the wrecks spawn. Let's just go and put them. Okay. Uh, you need crop pods to find her. Okay. <laughs> Sorry? Do we need crop pods to enter the cave, or can we just walk the cats right in? 
the big cats, we won't be able to walk in. The smaller ones, maybe. So I'd say take two with you. And you want to be a mod? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about the crowd that's assembled. So that is a trough to feed our dudes. There's another one. They're kind of all over the base. And if you see the dinos that are wandering around, they're basically guards. So they'll attack stuff that comes in here. And there's another egg. Uh, yes, that is a poop sound. Um, with many beasts come many sounds. Those are the birds. We have a bunch of mantis. These are, um, this is one of the baby Rexes that we're leveling up for the boss fight when we do it. And more eggs. The problem with the eggs is that outside it's often the right conditions for them to actually hatch. Which is not something we want. We have a dude who's stuck. The AI on this stuff is not that great. <laughs> the pathfinding for dinos, which anybody who's played will be able to tell you. And another egg. Are you almost ready, bud? Oh yeah, I'm outside. <laughs> Communication is key. So we will drop that. I think we have everything. Which side did you go out? I am... The big gate? So this dude is a veteran. He was a high level team and um, as you see, he's got some gray there, so. <laughs> so we're going over to a place out here in the desert. Uh, not that all of this isn't desert, but it's a uh, old temple complex and over there is a cave where you go down you fight stuff and there's supposed to be an artifact in there so hopefully we get lots of creatures spawning in there to fight <laughs> oh <laughs> thanks snack <laughs> We just thought this would be something really fun to do, and um, obviously it's very low-key. 
uh, we'll be streaming other things. Um, maybe we'll stream some D&D uh, &D and other tabletop games in the future, but I know one thing that I am going to stream is the creation of different adventures for D&D &D and stuff, uh, because I thought that'd be kind of cool to show the creation process and then what actually happens when we play. So, hey, here's me designing it and then here's what actually happened as opposed to what I thought would happen. Um, because the players always surprise you. You coming? Uh, yeah, me only got caught up by the river. <laughs> Thanks again, Snack. So, how many of you guys have played or watched Ark in the past? Yeah, so that's a rock elemental. We call them stone golems. They don't really give you much for beating them, so we just kind of leave them alone unless they're in the way. They take a super long time to get rid of. This building up here is where we're going. So this game is basically you can find and tame dinosaurs. So that's about as good as it gets. Peeking in here? Nope. gonna cryopied this dude so yeah pokeball <laughs> giant scorpion let's see what's over here Titanoboa <laughs> the cat is really fast. Okay, you ready to go in? Yeah. So, that's where we're going. Um, Hang on, let's take a picture. I think I will bring this dude back out. Okay, there we go. If it gets hard to see in this stream, let me know, and I'll gamma up. I don't know how far we'll be able to go on these guys. Have 
pretty suspicious lack of enemies. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, hopefully they spawn. Kind of feel like we're near the mob cap. Let's go this way. Oh, here we go. Sweet. Here's a drop. Flora. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Um, we have a better blueprint. Do you want a few meringue? <laughs> Tina. Those are little snails down there. Ooh, golem. Yeah, these are like little stone golems. to kill him uh, no. just be careful with the jumps Got some moronic up here. Oh, Flora. The architecture in these places is amazing. Ouch. I guess we don't have to worry about mobs not spawning. Do you know how we get down? Is it through here? Well, I'm oh, here's an artifact. You got what? Hit off by the rubble golem. I took a quarter of a million damage. You took a quarter million damage? Oh, you're gonna get knocked off. <laughs> um. Is your body down there? Oh. Or is that just a yeah, death hole? It's, it's, it's a death hole. Um. Ooh. 
now I've teleported him to the UK. Into where? Into the cave. Okay, let me come and get you. Oh, you're down? Yeah, RFP Butterman. Got him. Sorry? Everything I had was footprints, right? Yeah. Do you want my other cat? Um... Yes. <laughs> okay. Let me just clear these dudes out. So many Arthur So what's happening is Butterman died. And so he's respawning. But he's respawning in the cave. And when you die, your stuff gets left. Which basically means that. Let me pull Darth Kittyus out. Can't use cryopods. So I'll clear a space. Everything else. Okay, now I can move. Moronic. Anonic is a bat. I wasn't saying what it sounded like. And apparently, outside there's a thunderstorm. Where are you? That's pretty harsh. Are you outside? No. I'm restricted by where you physically Oh, I can't take this dude. Dynamo, you left him outside? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, cool. I don't trust crowbots. If I had that amount of crowbot, I would have lost them. So. Yeah, apparently I can't pick him up. This might end up being his new home. <laughs> I wonder if we walk out if you throw a cryopod in. Sorry? We do this, like, scan through, like, the side over here. So, those veteran arc players probably knew this while we were going in. Apparently in caves, you can't cryopod. No, that was recent. So we're going out now. Do you have any food? Yeah. And some water? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's because of the way I teleport when you go in and outside caves. Walk back in. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm hosting this session, so... Okay, walk back up. Butterman is tethered to me. Okay, there you go. Uh, yep. Which means that he gets teleported to wherever I am. Okay. So I think we can say that we were thoroughly beaten by the game. <laughs> we did get the artifact. It's the artifact of the destroyer. And a scorched skin for your sword. Okay. So let's go kill a bunch of stuff. Go back to base and get something to wear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna stop by base and grab some armor and stuff. So if you're wondering if the first time we do stuff in this game usually ends in disaster like that, yes. The game's designed to be hard, but we usually step into stuff with that understanding and get bodied the first time. Despite nearly 5,000 hours between us on yeah. We could go look for an alpha. Leave that in the chat. Yeah, okay. So, guys in the chat, girls in the chat. That was a lot quicker than I thought. And so we have a couple different things we could do. Um, 
One is going into the desert to fight death worms, which that basically levels up your dudes. And the other is to go to the wyvern crag. So if you saw those big dragon looking things, those are wyverns. And we can go through the crag and look for an alpha wyvern because we do have a bunch of wyvern eggs that we need to hatch and we do have some babies cryopotted and the only thing that they want to get them to mature is milk and the only way to get that really is to um at least for us is to go kill an alpha wyvern which is usually a good fight so we'll leave it up to you guys should we fight worms or get milk? Kill the alpha, alpha wyvern. Okay. Any other votes? an egg too. Okay. So it looks like the consensus is that we will go look for an alpha wyvern. Let me go feed these guys. Get rid of those names. We do have the noisiest base in the entire universe. Um, so once again, for those arc players, you can see that we've killed a number of alphas trying to get milk for the babies so we have this we have two eggs here we have this one um one of this is from a wild nest this is from a wild nest but this is from the breeding program no this one is that's a wild one so you need stuff let me see some old gear. Should be some stuff in here. Yeah, there's tons of ghillie. There's black. Oh wait, it's actually good stuff. Wow. And we should actually... So one of the things that we noticed when this game came out is that the graphics can be really beautiful. Some of the maps that have been made are ex extraordinary. It's like, wow, well, I wish that was a real place. And if you see these lights coming from the sky and from the ground, those are drops. So if we go there, there will be items in there. I'm going to go put the artifact on the stand. Cool. 
there's the first artifact we got. And so... Put this one right there. Okay. Two artifacts. We have to get one more, then we can fight the boss. Which is a big manticore. <laughs> Door is not big enough for the both of us. I'm gonna throw that sword skin in here. I'm actually gonna go grab my armor. Okay. And I will get more food. We should take some healing potions. So what type of games do you guys play? Um, that can be video games, or it could be other types of games as well. Just leaving some of this stuff here. Some of this stuff won't help with the mission we're going on, and it can't be replaced. look like we have another sword. Look like a ninja turtle. Well, since um, 
Nice color scheme didn't seem to detect me. I think this one might. <laughs> What color do you think for the sword? Teal? The cyan? This is a backup one. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Cool. Do you want me to bring a backup bird? I should be fine. Let's go see what We should bring salt. Bye. We have some over here. Got it. So salt makes things spoil more slowly. And wyvern milk spoils quickly, so... We're headed to a place over on the other side of those mountains. So I think we just need one more artifact. And then I think we have everything else we need to go ahead and take on the boss. The boss is available at three levels, so we'll have to go get multiples of each of the artifacts again. But that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, not sure what the other cave is like, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, this time I think I'll go on foot. 
<laughs> Probably be better. <clears throat> We've been breeding lots of different dinos and stuff to help with the boss fight. Because it can take 20 tamed creatures into there. Which you basically need. So there's a little bit more on the base to finish. We need to do that. And then when the new um, ARC version comes out, then what we're probably going to do is start a cluster server. So it's a server that has all the different worlds. And you can go between them because there are different islands and all that stuff. And we have a... There goes a bug. We have a world on the island, which is where we started out. That's where the game started out a long time ago. And so we'll finish out that as well. Um, that'll be picking up a lot farther along than you're seeing us here. And we already have the army built over there. So there it's gonna be about doing caves and then Hopefully the new version of Arc is good <laughs> and we get a cluster server set up so that we can go ahead and go through all the things with the same guy instead of having to make a new survivor for each different world. That down there is where the wyverns live. I think in the last stream I went through and cleared it out, but they should spawn. I'm going to actually go over and get this green drop over here. It has a ring around it, which means that there's usually better stuff in it. Yeah, Prime, we hope that there actually is a an alpha wyvern this time. It's not a sure thing at all. So these birds were on, they're pretty tough. I think the one that Butter is riding was wild. And so we tamed it up. This one is a Petri dish guy. I'll take that. Yeah, or Gentipicus. Okay. Yeah, so this one we bred up and you can get really, really good stats there. So why don't we start at one end and just make our way all the way through. Good. Thing you have to watch on these fights, there you see. Those guys all have breath weapons. <laughs> They're pretty tough. And you just have to pay attention to your stamina. Because if you run out of stamina, which is that little lightning bolt that you see flashing at the upper right hand side. Um, your bird will fall to the ground, <laughs> which isn't great. It happened to me while I was fighting an alpha. And so I was basically standing on the ground with it scraping with its, its, its fire breath. And my bird got down to, I think, 50 health out of 10,000. So we're gonna drop all this prime. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose this bird. Oh, alpha, alpha, found it, found it. Okay, is he here? It's right there, right there. Okay, let's not proc him. Ooh. Let me heal up. Yep. Wow, we we got lucky. That's awesome. This is like what the second time we've ever actually found the alpha. Like right when we said we want to go find an alpha. Yeah, it was always by um, accident the other times. Okay. 
Okay. Um... Yep, Prime, St Prime Star, we found one. I'm just healing up. And then I have a level. And of course, the level's going to go into melee damage. Okay. Yeah, this bird was bred specifically to the fight. So it's a battle archie. Where is he? Oh, okay. So if you see these wyverns here, look at... Where'd he go? Do you see him? Yeah. Um, see the one that's glowing? Oh, yeah. He's sitting. So that guy is way bigger and tougher. So the important thing is we basically use a tactic where we draw him into each other after we get out him, get him out over the desert. Want me to take a shot at him? Yeah. All of his friends will probably follow him. So Butterman is a sniper, so he's going to try to put a bullet in it and aggro it so it'll follow us. The other thing is he's much, much, much faster than we are. That means it's getting close. I'll catch you. And he's taking a bath in the lava. So seriously, you took a quarter million damage? Yeah, just got one. Um, Where are you? Behind you? I'm in a hole. Uh oh. Um, hi. There is one hole and I need to fall into it. Okay. Let me make your dude come to follow. Wait, I got out, I got out, and I'm falling. You okay? No. I'm about to die. You have... Wait, no. Where are Apparently you? Apparently lava acts like water. You went down there? Yeah. I fell. You dropped me. I did not drop you. Okay, go ahead and spawn. I'm going to teleport over there in just a second. It's at a distance. Okay. I need to go get my stuff. Let's go kill the... Actually, I actually really need my stuff. Can you just come down with me? Yeah. Don't know if I'll get it, actually. It's thoroughly in the lava. Maybe I'll get lucky, but I may have just... Oh, yeah, this is the attack. I'm gonna park over here. Oh, the alpha. Oh, should we just take out the alpha right now? He's sitting there. Do you see your stuff? Oh yeah, it's right here. It's a little bag. Yeah, I see my body. Oh yeah. Um, you know what, if you kick me up, 
I might be able to access it. Okay. I'm not sure if this works. But at the very least, you can put me there. I can transfer inventory. Can you see it? Yeah, you need to go a little lower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm scared. How's that? Um, it did not change anything. I'm sorry? Oh, wait. Wait. No way. Oh, wait. That, that, that's your own story? Oh! I actually was able to... One second. I'm surprised it worked. Do you have it? Um, yeah. Okay, the Alpha's coming. Over there you go. I'll try to drag him. Cool. Oh, he did an aggro. Okay, cool. I'm ready to go. Wow, that that went well. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Yeah. So even after so many years. This game has its glitches. Um, so you, I can get shot off on the wire. There he is. Oh, he's flying. Really? Okay. We'll get ready, get ready, get ready. He's coming. So let's drag him over here. We're mate boosted. Yes. Level four? <laughs> All that for level four. <laughs> Inventory is full of milk. Do you have the um, salt? Yeah. Okay, let's just fly back. <laughs> wow. We're very sorry, everybody. Um. <laughs> Good night, done messed up. Thanks for joining. We're sorry that was so anticlimactic. So that was basically the lowest level of wyvern that, well, alpha wyvern that you can get. So. Um, our birds were mate boosted, which means that they do, what is it, like 30% more damage? Yeah, that sounds right. That's and so it didn't have a chance. Usually, we'd be fighting it for five minutes, but... <laughs> so we just have to go and raise up an egg, then... Yeah, we'll raise an egg. Well, we actually have two that are in cryopods. Because there was a set of triplets, and we only had enough for one. Well, so if you want to do an egg, I'll go ahead and raise. Can I imprint on those weapons? Yeah, absolutely. Even if you would want to... To claim them? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I... Hey. Yeah, if you're wondering, I'm just stopping to get stamina. And if you make a bird to fight wyverns, then Carnos aren't a big deal. Also, oh, apparently you don't instantly die when you get lava. Really? No, it acted like water. And I was swimming it. I was oh. taking damage from the lava, but... It acted like water. Okay. So it's not instant death if you throw them there, but you want to grab a hood. Should we hatch the poison wyvern egg? What level is it? 
one, 104, 108. For oh, sure. There you are. Our base is right over on that mesa. So we want to thank you guys for joining the stream. Like I said, this is a pretty low-key impromptu channel. It's just basically something that we thought would be fun. And especially when we do the tabletop role playing stuff, um, hopefully getting something entertaining and educational for people who want to do that type of stuff. But we appreciate you subscribing and humoring us. <laughs> if you're wondering if the Butterman and I have the same voice, yes, we do. Darby is my dad. So. And so we actually thought about doing a YouTube thing uh, years ago on the other world that I was talking about. But we were going to set it up as kind of like a talk show. And we had a place set up on the server for it. And then we sat down to actually do it. And we were going to record us doing in different types of things and then have like a clip show where we'd sit in this little set that we'd made and talk to each other and then roll a clip, talk to each other about what happened, roll a clip and all that. But then we sat down and recorded ourselves. And when you talk through your art guide, their mouth moves. So we're sitting there in chairs and well, they're art guys and they're talking to each other, but it totally looked like just a dude sitting there talking to himself through, hey, Bob, what do you think about what's going on? Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. So it just sounded like the same guy. Um, so we thought that probably wouldn't work well. <laughs> but let's put this milk away. Yeah, I'm going to have to go start up all the torches again. There we go. So when you kill an Alpha Wyvern, they give you a trophy and then some cool gloves. Oh. Journeyman hide gloves, an apprentice crossbow, ramshackle, um, axe. I'm gonna drop all this.
in these things like the talons um, that you get from the wyverns and these other things, they're used to allow you to fight the boss. You need tributes to do it. Oh, you have it going. So wyvern eggs require a lot of heat to hatch. So we use these torches to light them up. That should be good. Okay, I'll go grab it. Yeah, it's a 104. Still too cold. up some more torches. Five minutes Is it gone? Yep. Oh. There we go. Five minutes. Um you want me to go get the babies? Uh sure. So on this server we have some of the rates turned up. We have played through where we wait a thousand years for things to tame or to um, mature. So rather than doing that, we turn the rates up, which means that you need to be super... Oh. <laughs> um, you need to be super prepared. So it's like every 10 seconds it asks for care and then you better have what it wants. So it just wouldn't have tons of time, tons of time to play it. Here you go. I'm going to drop them. There's the other. Yeah, so those guys are already hatched. Oh, yeah, they're going to want milk. Do you have some? Yeah, I'm going to make more salt. Can you make preserving salt at the Work. chemistry chemistry bench? Oh, chemistry bench? Yeah. I would think. Oh. Oh, there it is.
So we're just making this up, preparing for having to carry stuff around. Generally, if you put something on the player, it will spoil faster than on a dino or in a refrigerator or even a preserving bin. So there's one of the babies. Looks like it wants to go on a walk. So the last for different, ask for different types of care. So I've got a minute left. Wyverns are the simplest. They'll either ask for a cuddle, a walk, or milk. Other babies, not so much. So we actually have a whole bunch of different types of kibble and things that they'll ask for over there. But with these, it's pretty straightforward. So I'll get that ready. You can see we have 46 minutes on the spoil timer for this. And looks like Lime is stuck. Wouldn't want anybody to walk out. Sidearm. Sidearm's with you? Yeah. <laughs> Sidearm was our first defender. He is a raptor. It's funny, when we first started this world, we probably, in the first hour, died 20 times each. Yeah, dehydration. No, yeah. <laughs> and we're just about there. So it'll be interesting to see what this guy looks like. Always cute. Uh, behavior. So we try to get him out of there because he will grow quickly and wants a cuddle. So you can see that the timer is really quick on this. I would normally be set for, I don't know, maybe an hour or something like that between. We don't have that kind of time. So it just makes you have to be on your heels with these guys. Yeah, but also it take like 12 hours for them to grow up if we were on an official server. Yeah. And like I said, we've played that way a lot in the past, but not now. This guy just wants to cuddle. There's some milk. Yeah, so now he's asking for milk and stuff. So you can imagine this if they're asking for a random thing out of like 30 different options. 
That's what the other, like the Rexes and stuff do. These guys just happen to like Wyvern Milk. I'm shocked he hasn't wanted to walk at all. Cool color, eh? So he's 81% imprinted. What that does is it raises their stats. It's something that you can do with one that you hatch, or in other cases that you raise and stuff. How's your guy doing? Oh, the forty brace won't pull me up. And I'm working on. Of course, now it wants a walk. I'm gonna keep him in here. Keep coming. He's gonna get that big. Let's look at the stats. 4,032 health. 488 stamina. It's not very good at all. 672 weight. 284 melee. Not that great, but it's our first poison one. Should I hatch this 116? What is it? Fire. Is it wild? Wild. May as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it will have some type of cool coloring. So these are the things we keep in here for taming up the other things. They'll ask you for the most random stuff. to go through all three levels of magical. Yeah. Beta. Yeah, we're, what Butter's saying is that we're going to go through all three levels of the Manticore boss. So, Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. So, we need to do the KX fight in the front. Yeah. We'll have to get three more of each of these and then four of the other so we can keep one. So all of these eggs will be made into kibble.
Okay. One down. Is that one in the ground? No, it's across the power lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you just fly them in, then park them. Actually, they're fully raised. Oh no, they're just uh, fully inverted. Okay, I'll go put veteran out with them. So he'll sit over here and attack anything that tries to hurt them. To say your armor looks magnificent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you look like a Raphael. <laughs> I like the blue in your shoes, too. seconds. You want to hatch this one? Um, you can. Like, okay. Can There's another one in there. Yeah. It's one of the ones that we hatched. Okay. Yes, this one looks cool. Oh. Yeah, that To the June 4th. Yeah, it has Easter colors. Oh. Look at that. Those colors are great. So once again, we wanted to thank you guys for subscribing. Um, we thought it'd be cute to have a 10 subscriber special. And by the time we got here, we had 18, which is pretty cool. Uh, we plan the next subscriber special. We're going to just go every order of magnitude. So 
at a hundred, at a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, and so on. Oh. <laughs> But we'll definitely be... Oh, here we go. Streaming as often as we can. And if you're wondering the reason that I stream rather than do normal videos is simply because of time. There's one of the babies. Sweet. These guys are consuming a lot of milk. And that's a hundred percent. Where did veteran go? I walked out. I found him outside, so I broke. Okay. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna park this baby over here. Can I just drop by the like the road next to the chain? Sorry? Can I just drop by the one? Uh, let's name them first. I'll go see what number they're supposed to be. Like we said, these babies are raised up to be part of the boss army. Three... Five, six, eight, nine, eleven. Uh, I left the some robots on the ground next to you. Okay, so there's twelve. So you will be 13. Oh, you have to. You have to name him. Boss Wyvern 13. Boss Wyvern 13, Boss Wyvern 14? Try to get past.
I'm gonna drop that other egg. And I think once we get done with that. So as I was saying earlier, we've done ARC so far. This will be the first time us talking, so that's cool. But we'll also do some other games, um, and then some D&D stuff and other tabletop RPG stuff. So just the things we think are fun, those are the things we're going to be doing. During Easter, we went and got a bunch of different colored pistros. Pink one there. There's a blue one someplace. Wonder where. See the little yellow guy? This is one that bred up by accident. I don't see the new guy. Did you say that sidearm pieced out? Yeah, burned out. Okay. Three minutes and 20 seconds. Sweet. I'll come out with you. Oh, wait, where is it? Usually they spawn right over here. Or across there. So it must be farther off. So once the Butterman picks it up, we will find out what's there. And send a Brock on Subtle Blueprint. Auto turret blueprint, the window blueprint, vessel blueprint, and another oh. So pretty much stuff we already have. So it was pretty much. Yeah.
Got another minute. Oh, there he is. There's a little guy. That is our newest addition. Oh, and those Tacraxes are for breeding. They're helping us with our boss army. 15 seconds. And there we go. Go this way. So it looks just like its parents. This was a color that we got from the Valentine's Day event. And fortunately, it got right into the line that we use for the boss fight. Right around the corner is the original. Come on, little guy. Sometimes there are raptors running around up here, but not much of anything else. We just happened to pick the probably best area in the entire map. To build a base because everything we need is all around us and there you go and we get really good drops all over the place here including red drops which are the best or kind of central to everything and the buttery one is flying around on his Lightning Wyvern. Oh, I'm... My specimen up here again. Oh. He's guarding the baby. Oh, well, the baby's wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just give that some type of normal name. Okay, another walk. <laughs> I'm just going to bring her right back out. Patrick? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we just have one more baby. <laughs> Thanks. A couple 
some more feeds. There we go. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the new Ark Survival Ascended. Just hoping that it's good. Hey, you did a community draw? Wait, did somebody do you? Yeah? With the sleeping bag, broken car, the smithy, border and pestle. Yeah, I wonder what type of gameplay changes are going to be made. Yeah, better AI. Yeah. And I heard dynamic water. By the way, here's our sign. I'm going to store the rest of the milk. And I saw a drop over there. So this is magenta. This was the wild tame that brought this coloring into everything. So I will fly and get this. Ascendant Inky Saddle. Ascendant Inky Saddle? Blueprint. Inky Saddle. A scope. These are ascendant saddles. That is primitive. Okay, I'll drop that on that one. So where did you head off to? Where did you head off to? I'm just right outside base, so I'm taming a Jerboa. You're taming a Jerboa? <laughs> okay. What color? Black and brown, but it has like white stripes. Cool. We'll grind that.
<clears throat> Which way? Oh, right next to the wyvern right there, basically. Very nice. <laughs> Would you like to share what that means for those who don't know? I'm getting my physics right. That should be uh, spring energy. <laughs> spring energy. So, thank you everybody. I think this is about going to do it for the stream. So, uh, we'll set up here. Thank you all for joining. And thanks for subscribing. Um, you know, please just uh, join when you can. And we'll keep putting these things up here. Like I said, we'll be doing... Some D&D stuff, uh, probably some stuff with a um, TTRPG called Champions. And we've been asked to do Factorio and other things like that. So just as we play these games, we'll go live and... Um... <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for joining. And um, okay, bye for now.